Whoops, I forgot to tell you what the late need of vaporizations for these things are. So let's finish this problem. So here's my ice again at 100 degrees C. There's my clouds that we're adding up together. And so let's uh, work through this a little bit. So the latent heat of vapor uh, fusion for water, this one that's going to go in here, is 33.2 times 10 to the fourth. Notice it's way bigger than uh, 4186. Uh, and then the vaporization uh, is 22.6 times 10 to the fifth. It's 10 times larger. Gases often have significant, more, significantly more energy. So gases are high energy. That's why steam burns are nasty. So let's keep, uh, let's work through this one real quick. So what's my Q total? It's going to be M. I've got 100 grams. This is 0 0.1 times C, which is 4186, times my delta T. My delta T has to go to my melting point. So water freezes, freezes, and ice melts at zero degrees C. So my delta T is going to be four degrees C. So it's uh, final, which is zero, minus initial, which is going to be four, which turns into four. Plus MLF, so I've got 0 0.1 times LF. 33.2 times 10 to the fourth. And now I've got, oh wait, this is ice. Aha. The specific heat of ice is 2000. It's not 4186. The ice is 4186. M 0.1 C 41.6 times my delta T. So I'm learning from zero to one. My water boils vaporizes at 100 C, so my delta T here is 100 minus 0, which is 100, plus then I have to boil it away, plus 0 0.1 times 22.6 times 10 to the fifth. All right, let's see if I can put all of this into my calculator on my phone. Let's go this way. All right. 0. 0.1 times 2,000 times, I'm going to need, where's my multiplier? Times, oh, what? No, it's got to be times 4. Times 4 plus. Ten to the fourth, fourth plus point one times forty one eighty six times one hundred plus point one times twenty two point six. And that gives me 301,000 feet 60 feet. I think that's correct.